Hi, I'm Annie Strack. Today I'm going to show you how I paint skies and clouds in watercolor. I'm going to start by putting in my horizon line so I know where I want my sky to be. Since I want to concentrate on the sky in this painting, I'm going to put my horizon line down just below halfway. If I put it at the halfway point, it's going to look too static. I don't want to cut the painting in half exactly. If I put it too high, I'm not going to have much room for the sky and it'd be mostly the seascape below. So I'm going to put it just below the halfway point so I can concentrate more on the sky. I'm also going to go ahead and put a little bit of a land mass right here. And Coming off from my land mass, I'm going to have a beach that's going to come around like so. This is going to be a little island in my landscape. Now the first thing I want to do is wet the paper where I'm going to paint the sky because I plan on doing this a wet on wet technique. So with just clean water, you can see I'm brushing the water onto my paper where I plan on putting the paint. I'm not going to go below the horizon line because I don't want to have my sky in the middle of the sea. Just where I'm going to put the paint. Now I'm using a one inch wide brush for the entire painting. For this step of just brushing on the water, you could just as easily use a two inch brush, go a little bit faster, or you could even use a clean sponge and sponge the paint on, sponge the water on. Okay, after it's good and wet but not saturated, if I tip it, you can see the saturation. It's nice and glossy. There's a dry spot there. Get that wet. And by tipping it, I can see if there's any flat spots that are dry because I don't want any dry spots. Next, I'm ready to go put some paint on. Now, I'm going to start with, the, with my favorite blue for Sunny Sky, and that is Cobalt. So here I'm trying some Cobalt. I'm testing it on a spare piece of paper here. This is my spare piece of paper. I'm testing my cobalt, getting a lot of it on the brush. And I'm going to start slapping that cobalt in. Now I'm not going to cover the entire sky with cobalt because I want to have some white clouds showing through. So I'm going to have a white cloud going here and a white cloud coming up here. So I'm painting in between my clouds. This is the blue sky that's showing in between the clouds. Now you have to work pretty fast when you're doing this because you don't want the paper to dry and you don't want the paint to dry. Because if the paint dries, you won't be able to lift it up and make those clouds. Want to get it on nice and thick because I'm going to take a lot of it off. And it doesn't matter what brand of paper towel you use, just as long as it's fairly absorbent and doesn't leave a pattern. You don't want to have a stamped pattern of the paper towel. Okay, I'm just going to blot up some of this that's running. And I'm just about ready. I've got a hard edge. Let me soften this. There. Okay, I'm also going to show a little bit of violet. I'm going to do it. This is a sunny sky, but I want a little violet in my cloud. So I'm mixing, I'm mixing some of this violet now into my blue. And this is this is like a shadow in the clouds. Mostly on the underneath of the clouds. A little bit in the middle here and there. Oh, my paper's starting to dry. It's going to be time for me to lift this off. I don't want too much. There we go. Okay, time to start lifting. Now I'm going to pull these clouds out. And you can see I'm blotting with the paper towel 
keep turning it so that it's clean. When it gets dirty, I turn it. And the paper towel is lifting up the pigment and the paint and the water right down to the white paper underneath. And it's giving me this lovely cloud effect. Now here at the horizon, I'm going to just drag it just very, very lightly. Because at the horizon, the clouds tend to be thinner. When you're looking at the horizon, they tend to get thinner. And as your eye moves up, you're seeing the bottoms of the clouds. So they have a more rounder shape. But the, when you're looking at the horizon line, you're seeing only the edges of the clouds. And so they appear to be thinner and narrower and flatter. They don't appear to be so round and fluffy like the ones straight up do. And this is a little bit too stiff. Let's move that cloud up like that. Oh yeah, that's better. A fresh paper towel. And that's it. The paper is drying very quickly. That's all I can lift up. It's a very, very short window to get the paint off the paper and down and, and to blot down to the white paper to bring up the clouds. If I take a fresh sheet, you can see now blotting there, nothing came up. It's too dry and a set in, but that's good. We worked quickly and we got the clouds done.